Hi everyone, Ronnie Rowe here, Ronnie Rowe Designs. Um, it's been a busy week. It's been one week since the 2022 Needlework Expo, which went very well and um, been busy this week sending out patterns, talking to other shop owners, uh, a lot of distributors. We've had meetings and talked about uh, on various things about the show. I thought and everything about the show went very, very well considering this was the first time I did it and had to set up a booth in the uh, event hub and really did not know anything about it to start out with, but um, turned out very, very well. And um, folks that run in the show did an outstanding job, in my opinion, of every uh, putting this on and giving all the designers an opportunity, a platform, if you will, an opportunity to show off their new designs and really not have to travel far from home, sit in their own office as I do, and um, present their wares. Um, like I say, it's been a busy week. Uh, I know for a lot of folks um, trying to get things printed and uh, designs printed along with um, fulfilling orders. So that's taken up most, most of the week, but still had time to do a lot of other things. Still going to the Y every day, trying to get some exercise in. So been doing that. Uh, this week, um, the feature design this week is one that I call Snowbound. And um, this is an interesting design for the fact that um, it started out as a black and white. I was going to do another black and white design. And uh, once I got into it and looking at it, I thought, you know, maybe maybe not just all black thread on white material, but try to capture something with a, a little bit of grays in it. And when I got going on it, the boat that I put on, um, the old boat tied up, um, I started coloring that and it, it kind of all came together in that sense. And um, like I say, it was going to be a black and white, but I changed my mind. I like this a little bit better, I believe. Uh, let me see if I can get out of the way. Oh, if I can, you can see the front of the boat and back of the boat but anyway that's um one i call snowbound uh this is a design that i really wanted to do a scene with snow on a white background and that's 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 really somewhat difficult to do um and this particular design if it's stitched on any other color but white i don't i don't really believe it'll come out that well uh, you really have to have the white in the trees along with the boat and actually in the water also to show the uh, snow effect. So anyway, that's that's one thing I wanted to try to do with this design. Uh, this design has a lot of uh, color. It doesn't look like it across the top, but it really is. There's about five or six shades uh, in the, all of that. And um, then you get down to the uh, water edge along along here. And uh, the water edge comes into a, uh, a bluish, if you will, kind of look like an icy type scene. So, but anyway, this is uh, one I did in conjunction with another one I put out called Mystic Harbor that I'll be showcasing in some weeks to come. And hopefully everyone likes this. I enjoyed stitching it. This was a, this was a fun piece to stitch. Uh, the way this was framed up uh, was in a silver frame, like I've done before with a lot of my work. I framed it in a silver frame along with a blue mat, with a white white and blue mat. Um, I think it turned out very, very well. So uh, this, uh, this particular uh, design is out right now. It's not on my website, but it is on SD. What I'm going to do with all of these videos I make one a week when I feature one, I'm going to put that design out on SD for the folks who uh, like to get get, get one. Um, all of my new designs aren't there yet, and they won't be until um, I feature them in one of these videos right now. I got some interesting comments this week uh, from folks all around. People want to know when I'm going to do more black and whites, and uh, I possibly will. And uh, people also want to know about uh, stitch count. Uh, how do I come up with a stitch count? How do I determine what fabric I'm going to stitch on? Um, 
I always use 18 count because I can't see that well. And I'm not going, and yeah, 16 was a little, uh, 14 was a little bit too big of a picture for me. So, but I pretty much ate like 18 count material. I was talking to a friend of mine this week that was stitching on 32 count linen. I don't know why. I mean, it's gorgeous, but I mean, I don't know how. But anyway, the ladies, one of the friends of mine came back and said she was going to try 56 count. <laughs> I know 56 count. I, I, I just can't believe somebody can even do that. Although I do know they do it because I see a lot of that every year up at the Woodlawn Plantation Needlework Show. That's a big show up near Washington, D.C. every year. And um, some some of the work that's put in there that people go to, in my opinion, extremes, just beautiful stitching. I mean, it, the things in there are just absolutely gorgeous. So, But if you ever get a chance in that area uh, in uh, February and March, January, January, February, March time period, uh, stop by Woodlawn Plantation. That's an excellent show up there. It's uh, You can purchase stuff that designers do offer their work for sale. Uh, some do, some don't, but it's really worth it's really worth the time to go see what people are, are doing and it's just beautiful stitch work. Um, but anyway, this week, Snowbound, that's what I'm featuring. I hope you like it. Like I say, it is out on my SD account along with the lock that I did previously and on one of these videos as well as uh, back in time. So anyway, Stay tuned and uh, hope everyone has a great week and a very safe week. So keep stitching and see you again soon. Thank you.